Today I'm going to be doing a short video on how to cope crown molding using an RAS 115. Uh, I grew up learning how to do it using a coping saw. I've also used a disc grinder. I've never used a Collins coping foot. Once I got the RAS 115 on a hunch I decided I would go ahead and try it. The advantage is it gives you dust collection. Um, it does not get into the corners quite as well as a disc grinder if you have a disc uh, back to back so that you can use either the front or the back sides. But I'm shooting video by myself. I am going to try and do this as much real time as possible. In case you see a image of my miter saw, uh, do not operate your saw this way. I'll try and keep it out of the picture. What we've got here is a piece of 3 and 5 eighths paint grade pine, not MDF. It has been nested in the stand and cut, so the back edge is wider than the front. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it. Uh, I've always coped as much as possible in the same direction. That's just the way I was taught. I'm going to of course this is the orientation that it would have sitting up against the wall and what we need to do here is this front edge right here we need to have knife sharp so that when you cut your, your crown uh, 16 to an eighth inch long and you pop it in place that will compress up against the next uh, the piece already installed which would be the piece to, to my right to your right. So anyway, I'm going to set this up on the tripod, uh, and, oh, before I go further, I do cheat with a handsaw in a couple places. I will use it to cut this line and cut that out this corner. Also, down here, this corner, and at the very bottom, I'm going to come up right through here, because that always chips out on me. Uh, with coping you need to back bevel quite a bit because when it's in this orientation you're actually having to take off material all the way back through here. So you'll see in a minute. Hang on, let me get this set up and then we'll go from there. Okay, uh, and before I get going I'm just going to show you what a piece already coped looks like. In comparison so you're gonna get kind of get an idea of of how the profile is uh, with me shooting by myself I'm gonna try uh, this is about the third or fourth time I've tried to do this to keep my head out of the way so bear with me and we're gonna get started so it doesn't move around on us just get it snug um, try and get this into picture more Okay, so here we see the profile on the crown, and now we're going to try and do it as quickly as we can, real time. Uh, I will have to get in the way when I use the handsaw, I believe, uh, unless I move it over this way a little bit, and we're going to give it a shot. You're not going to see me doing anything magical. Uh, I'm just going to sit here with a little Japanese saw and cut down. I am beveling it quite a bit downwards on the back to make up for the angle when you place it on the wall. And I'm just giving myself a little clearance here so that I can hopefully make this cut neatly. And trying to be square and take off that. Okay. Using 120, 120 grit Reuben um, on the Raz. Uh, I'm going to set the speed at about 4. And you're going to see how fast this is even with that relatively fine a grit.
right, I'm gonna stop. I'm almost done, but I want to kind of show you something. And you can't see it from this angle. If I kind of move the tripod around, hopefully, I think we're gonna see it now. And I've stopped it on purpose. I don't know if you can quite see, but right through here you're going to see some brown actually that little bit of brown is going to keep your crown from sitting properly uh, i've also got some right in here and so we need to get rid of that i have got just a little piece of 80 grit reuben and i'm going to just sit here and pardon my head and just get rid of it. I might have to use the res again. Uh, yes, I will. And then, like I said, sorry for my head if it's in the way. That looks pretty good and we're just going to take another piece of crown and hold it up to it and kind of see how it fits okay uh, I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod to show you this and then I can also show you the back so you can see how much material we actually removed so pardon the jarring motion so there's your cope joint and what did it take? About a minute and a half of actual time. Now, you may say that that doesn't seem like so much, but when you look at the back, you have taken a lot of material off. Uh, anyway, try it. You might like it. You might not. But if you already have an RAS-115, it's well worth it.